Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I've got an idea for how we can master the attitudes of flight. So let's get cracking. All right, friends, to do this successfully, you need to have created one of my jets. I'll put links to those lessons up above. There's one that's a normal design. There's one that's a code blocks design. And then you need to have saved it as a part. When you've got those steps done, then you can do create new design just like this. My first step is going to be to rename it. I'm going to do flight and I'm going to type attitudes, get my mouse out of the way so I can see if I spelled it right, which I had not. Now, the code blocks jet and the small jet, I showed you in earlier lessons that we can put it in our shapes collection. Friends, when you get down here to your shape, remember it takes a moment for them to load. Uh, if you click and click and click, you'll end up with a stack of these, which you don't really want at the beginning. Now that I've got my cool little jet in, I'm gonna shrink it so I can fit several of these on my screen. So I held down shift and I drug it in one direction. Real quickly, I'm gonna make three of these using control D. And I'm gonna just nudge them around my screen. If you like your stuff organized, you can click a line and line them up. We do not have them spaced correctly. I'm gonna just click on this middle one and use the arrow keys to get it a little closer to perfect. So we need to put three different axes on this aircraft. We're gonna do that back in the normal shapes. So I'm gonna hit basic shapes. I'm gonna bring out a cylinder. I'm gonna hold down shift and shrink it till it's about size two, or I'll type the number two, and then I'm gonna stretch it nice and long. I'm gonna type the number 60 and press enter. We're gonna use this again and again. So I want you to do control D to duplicate. And then I'm gonna click back on the original and do control D and move the other duplicate over here. This first axis is gonna be for yaw. So let's take our aircraft and do a line, and we wanna pick the aircraft, and it aligns to the middle and the middle. Yaw is when an aircraft spins around this axis. Real quickly, let's put our work plane on top of this little guy. Let's bring out one of our tubes, and we've done this before when we set it on here. I want you this time to type 25 and press enter. We're gonna still do size one and press enter. We're gonna make the side 64 and then we're gonna make it real skinny. So I'm gonna put a one. I'm gonna hold down shift and click on the tube we had initially. And I'm gonna click a line, make that tube the master and then choose middle and choose middle. And then we can group all three of those. Do make sure you're patient as you're waiting for it to group. I'm gonna put the work plane back down on the ground and on this one, we're gonna do roll. So to do that, we need to take this rotation handle and we need to rotate it 90 degrees. Sometimes it's easier to just type the 90 and get that spot lined up. We're gonna take those two pieces. Notice it says two shapes. We're gonna click a line. Once again, we're gonna make the center and center what we care about. And then I'm gonna put this in the middle here as well. Now you can see this lines up okay, but not perfect. So I'm gonna turn on my work plane and I'm gonna nudge it to where I think it looks more in the middle. So I'm gonna just go down and over. And if you want, you can even make it a little more perfect with the little decimal points. So that looks like the center of my fuselage. I think right there. So my friends, this time we're gonna talk about roll. Once again, let's put the work plane on the end of that. Let's bring out our tube, change our numbers again. Once again, 25, press enter. Wall thickness, one, press enter. And sides, I do like to make that 64. And then let's make it one thick. Hold down shift and click on that center pin because that's what it'll rotate around. Click on your align make that pin the master and choose middle and choose middle and then when we group them you will all of a sudden have an aircraft that can demonstrate roll do be patient as it groups all right friends let's finish our last one first put the work plane down and now we're going to show pitch so we've got a vertical axis and we've got a longitudinal axis now we need an axis that is horizontal. Click on it, find this arrow right here, and once again, we're gonna rotate 90. Once again, you could type that number to make it more easy. 
Grab those two items, click a line, pick the aircraft, and we want it to be centered, centered, and centered. This is a decent axis for show and pitch. If you need to nudge yours, remember when we do work plane like this, which is our next step for the tube, you can use the arrow keys to nudge it wherever you want so that it's more perfect for the center of gravity on your aircraft. I'm gonna work right from there. I'm gonna bring out that tube. Once again, we're gonna change the numbers to 25 and press enter. I'm gonna make it one and press enter. I'm gonna put the sides to 64. Let's change the angle and make this one thick. I'm gonna hold down shift and click on that center post and do a line. Just remember, always do the center post as middle. Now we can group those three items. I'm gonna do that from here. Note it says three shapes, hit group, and then be patient as it settles in. All right, friends, so now it's time to master these attitudes of flight. The first one we're gonna do is pitch. Notice if you move out to the little rotation arrow, come way out here and you can see that we just made it pitch up and pitch down. This is how you demonstrate pitch. I'm gonna put it back to middle, and now I'm gonna show you yaw. If we click on this, the rudder would make it so yaw occurs. This is when it spins around the vertical axis. And then the last one, my friends, we'll zoom around so we can see it like this, is roll. This is that sweet thing that you see uh, fighter aircraft do where they can do an incredible roll. So let's label all those quickly with our notes. Friends, this one is pitch. Do make sure you spell it right. This one, my friends, is yaw. And then the last one is roll. Real quickly, if we move to the back of the plane, you can put on the pitch one, the elevators, most effect pitch. Over here for the yaw, why don't we put it on the post? And let's add in that the rudder most affects the yaw. And then the last one is roll. Let's go out here on the wingtips because that's where this happens. I'm gonna click the notes and put it right on that wingtip. And my friends, it is the ailerons that most affect roll. Friends, I hope you had a ton of fun with this and I hope you have a better understanding of the attitudes of flight. Friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or a suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.